everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching so in today's story i'm gonna show you this bride makeup look i was thinking about how to create this look because it depends so much of the style of every single bride so it is really personal my idea is a really dramatic <laughs> for me i like to use this look for example at night so in this special day we want to use a sophisticated beautiful and glamorous look at the same time without using a lot of makeup so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see how i got this look please keep on watching and let's begin so let's get started. To make this video a little shorter, I did my skin and my eyebrows. If you want to see how I do it, I'm going to put the link here in the description box. And to create this bride's look, I want to keep my makeup look in the place all the time. So for this, I'm going to use this photo finish primer by Smashbox in my eyes. It will lock the shadows in the place. I'm going to apply with this cream color brush. And I'm going to spread this amount of product in both of my lids blending really well because I want to avoid the harsh lines and then I'm gonna remove the excess with my fingers just to make sure there is no excess of product to create this makeup look I'm using this Tartelette palette by Tarte this is the Amazonian clay and I'm gonna use this color here with this fluffy brush to be my transition shade I'm gonna apply this color in my crease and outer corner And this color will just help to blend the next colors that I'm going to apply after. Now using this fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this color here below of my brows. It will just highlight a little bit. Now I'm gonna apply the super dark chocolate brown in my outer corner and a little bit in my crease. Using this brush here is a normal eyeshadow brush. And then I'm gonna blend this color using the same fluffy brush that I was blending the first eyeshadow.
Now I'm gonna apply the same colors in my lower lash line. This will just balance the look. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of this Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the color Cottage Cheese with my finger. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of product. This is optional, beside of this brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna apply this beautiful paper doll eyeshadow by Michigas Cosmetics, it's a really cute pink, you can use a coral or any color that you like. Now with this little brush by Sigma, I'm gonna use the same color she's Jumbo Pencil by NYX and apply it in my third duct area. On top of the shimmer eyeshadow base, I'm gonna apply this gorgeous pigment by MAC in the shade Vanilla. I love this pigment, I have it since a long time and it's so beautiful. Look at this shade. So I'm gonna apply it in my tear duct area and here where I live without any shadow, just with the shadow base. So now I'm gonna line my eyes using the gel liner by Sigma in the shade Stunningly Ladylike, it's a dark brown and to make it apply easier I'm gonna use a few drops of the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. Now I'm gonna apply my false lashes by Velour, this is the style fluffing edge, it's so beautiful and awesome. These lashes are shorter than the usual that I use, but I really love this style and then I'm gonna use 
this mascara to blend together my lashes with the fake ones this is the better than false lashes by to face it i like this mascara i'm gonna apply it on top and bottom in my lips i'm gonna apply this lip contour by george cosmetics in the shade nude On top of this lip liner, I'm gonna apply this color of lipstick. This is the shade Jessie by The Solo Look. I'm gonna apply it using a brush. In the center of my lips, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this pigment by MAC, the same that I use it in my eyelid. For blush, I'm gonna use the Love Flush Blush by Too Faced. This is in the shade Hangover. It's so pigmented, so I'm gonna remove the excess first. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Candle Light Glow by Too Faced in the shade Rose Glow. It's so beautiful, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of product. I like this highlighter because it's just a little bit of shimmer without glitter. So I'm gonna apply it here in my cheekbones. As you can see, it's so soft. So that's it my angels, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, if you want to, I can create more looks for you, giving these bright ideas. So that's it, I will wait you for the next tutorials. Please don't forget to subscribe here in my channel if you still didn't and follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my work. Bye!